Guys, one thing about Tiffin this year, they have the number one selling diesel pusher in America, 14 years in a row, the Phaeton. The number two selling diesel pusher in America is what I'm fixing to show you, the Allegro Red 360. And number four in America is the Allegro Bus. Tiffin has three of the top four selling diesel pushers in America. And when you look through these videos and you can see exactly why they are. Let me show you some neat features on this 38BA. Of course, it's all fiberglass exterior, full body paint. It's on a raised rail chassis, goes all the way across. This coach even has a slide out tray. The slide out tray will go either in or out on either side. You can bring it out here. Makes it easy when you're fat like me to get stuff out of. Bring it out the other side. Little push, it locks right back in. You have two furnaces on it. Also, what they've changed up this year, besides the drawn audience, they used to have just a plastic cover that goes over here where your refrigerator is. Now they put an easy access manual door. You can get right into the back of the refrigerator if we have to. All of the Tiffin motor homes also, when you go through, you, you can just see the quality in everything that they do on it. For instance, it's not a major thing, but a lot of people don't recognize it. Michelin tires on all Tiffins. They don't use anything else. Aluminum wheels. This coach, you can tow 10,000 pounds. All of the Tiffin motorhomes now have the Truma Aqua Go. It's a hot water on demand. As long as you got water in your tanks, you're going to have continual hot water. You come back, you still got the access on the rear. You can check your transmission, your oil, your filter. You can see it. You've got a lot of room down in here. Another neat thing about all the Tiffin motorhomes, the, all them Tiffin, they're all a molded one-piece fiberglass roof. Everybody always says they got fiberglass roof. The difference is this being crowned and molded, the roof is seamed on the side instead of on the top. So you don't have to worry as much about leakage inside. Another neat feature on the Tiffins is when you come over to the wet bay, If you'll notice that you've got your drain that goes right down here for the sewer and runs straight out. The beauty about on a Tiffin, this is reversible. So when you're sitting here and you're done and you're ready to travel, you turn it up like this with your cap on, and if anything leaks out of either valve, when you take it off, it's not going to come running out on your hands. You hook your sewer hose up straight out the bottom, turn it over. You got a place for your water hose reel out of here. There's your propane tank. If you notice it's running sideways instead of length, it doesn't eat up your storage. There again, we come back to the compartment doors. All compartment doors are the exact same. It doesn't matter if you buy an Allegro gas or a Zephyr. They're sturdy. They're all built the same way. Side view cameras. Rear view camera. And the other thing on this particular coach is you're going to have three air conditioners on the roof. Not two, but three. You have two 15,000s and a 13.5. So this is a coach that if you're in the hot weather, it will work for it and cool you down. Dual fuel fill, either side of the coach. You really can't see it right here, but all of the Tiffin motorhomes have the 3M mask on the diesels up front to help protect against rock chips. As you can see on their paint, they do a great job. Tiffin has their own paint facility. It's not farmed out. Everything is done by a Tiffin. Guys, let's run inside. Let me show you around on this coach. Got Anthony in here with me to kind of walk around and show you some features on this coach. On all the Tiffins, one of the biggest complaints they had over the years, the slide out control was in the middle. You go to slide your slide out, this chair is leaning back, it's in the way of the slide out, it bends the chair. So Tiffin integrated the slide controls on the seats. 
That way, when you're sliding these slides out, you can see you have a problem before you really do. This is really a beautiful coach race. Oh, it is. I, the other, one more thing, Anthony, that they did, which is really, really cool. And this is for this year. Went to the digital wow. dash instead of the gauges That's on beautiful. this. Kind of makes you feel like you're in a cockpit instead of a... <laughs> you're flying an airplane, not a yeah, motor. Yeah, it really does. It's, it's really hard to believe when I'm stepping inside this thing that this is not Tiffin's upper end coach, right? I mean, this is, this is a, it, it, as far as Tiffin goes, this is kind of towards the bottom. And it sure does not look like a coach that's towards the bottom. No, if you look, compare, you can compare this to a lot of other manufacturers' top end. Yeah. I mean, quality one, woodwork, uh, chairs, everything. And if you'll notice on this particular coach, it's flat floor slides on both sides. It's really spacious. What does red mean? I, I know pe pe some people may know, but just for those that don't know, what does the red mean? The red means rear engine diesel. Don't ask, I don't know. They just came up with it. It stuck, and that's what it is. They used to have the Allegro Bay that had the front engine diesel in it, and then when they did this and already had the Phaeton, everybody just kept thinking, well, we need another rear, rear engine diesel, so red became of that. Show you another little fun fact real quick before we get going. Every Tiffin is going to have a little window down here. A lot of people want to know what that window is for. Well, originally back in the early days when they were doing these, Tiffin had all the windows in there. And it was because if you were in the driver's seat, you really couldn't see something right next to you. So it was so you could a driver could look straight out and see a motorcycle or a little car right beside you. Everybody got used to it for their dogs and cats and everything. When they first, when they finally started putting the cameras on them, everybody was calling in to Bob saying, leave the window, leave the window. Our dogs, cats love, that's their window. So even today, with all the technology we got, they still have the dog window. Just a little fun fact. Well, that's what comes with the hist years and years of history of uh, building motorhomes, right? Exactly. Uh, some neat features on this. You still have the hide couch here. And if you'll notice... Uh, Flex Steel is no longer producing the furniture for all RVs. Tiffin found this, and I think this has been a major upgrade. Everybody so far has loved the comfort, the durability, and everything of the seats. Uh, driver's seats, sofa, recliner, everything. It's just been great. Does that make a bed race? Yeah, this is a hide-a-bed. It's got the air mattress. You've got a mattress cover, and then inside the mattress cover is the air bladder for the uh, deal. You want to make sure when you put it out, air it up, or you're going to be sleeping not too good. <laughs> Got a hard mattress. Yes. I love all the cabinets over here, too. I know, you know, when you look at motorhomes, I know Race knows better than I do. He's been selling these things for a million years. Um, that's a spot where a lot of your motorhome manufacturers will cheat, right? They'll try to save some cash by not putting any cabinets overhead in the slide. That, and then they also, what they'll do, Anthony, is they're not going to be as deep. You can put plates in here. I mean, yeah. I, it's elbow deep on me. You can put crock pots in there. You can do a lot of things. A lot of other manufacturers will have a four or six inch cabinet there, and they don't cheat you on it. You know, space is premium when you're in a motorhome. Yeah, it is. No one ever said this motorhome has too much storage. Right. I've never heard that. One thing, too, explain the air, because I know Tiffin does their air conditioners a little bit different than a lot of your manufacturers do. Yeah, except, except on the Red 340, everything that's going to be on there, like I said, you already have three air conditioners on this. You're going to have a return air vent all the way down this side. You're going to be shooting air out over here, all the way down. It's a central duct system. So you could have the middle air conditioner on if you're only at a campground that says only has 30 amp service. You can be able to run that air conditioner, but get air all through the coach. Yeah. Keep, keep you from having hot spots. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Or you can cut on the front and the rear and still get it. But with the three air conditioners on here, I don't know if you like to sleep cold, but I can make you put a blanket on in the back. <laughs> I know my wife does. <laughs> I got to wear got to wear a full long johns in the middle of summertime. Exactly. And this coach so much like that they're equipped. It has a fireplace over here with the lift up TV and the sound bar. Uh, and if, like I said, you can look through here and see. You're going to see Whirlpool uh, microwave convections, Maytag refrigerators, yeah. LG TVs. They're not knockoffs. I mean, they do a great deal. And this year. They now do this on the reds. And that just gives you so much more countertop space. You know, you're, you, you, the countertop space is another, um, you know, premium when it comes to RVs. Because when you're in it, you don't think about, if you've never had one before, where am I going to cook my meal? Where am I going to prep my meal? Even if you're making a sandwich, you have to have enough space to do those things. 
Well, it makes all the difference in the world. I mean, counter uh, to a woman, this is more important than the overhead. You've yeah. got to have it. And you don't lose anything in drawer depth. Yeah. And then they've also gone with the, the like I said, the flat floor up here, but it's kind of got a wood-looking floor in this coach. Uh, you've got the central compo uh, control panel. And this come right back. And this is a full wall slide, right, Race? That one, all the, way the down. one on the passenger side is a full wall slide. Uh, goes all the way back to the rear bathroom. It makes, it make, good Lord, it just makes this place feel so big inside. It feels like a bowling alley in the yeah, front yeah. because it's a straight shot yeah. back. You've got the half bathroom up here, which is if you're married, guys, this will become your bathroom. <laughs> And as we come back to the master bedroom, you've got the king size bed. There again, you've got the USB ports on either side of the bed. You got a 110 outlet on each side of the bed. This coach, you've even got a ceiling fan. It makes it really nice because you can open up the side windows if you're in the right place. Crack that, cut this on, you get a nice circulation of fresh air in here. And that's what it's all about, guys. You got to live the dream. You don't buy these to stay at home. You, this is your summer house, your lake house, your mountain house. You want to be anywhere you want to be, and there's a lot to see on the ground in the USA. So yeah. this is a perfect travel unit. And I'm just looking at the wall back behind you. I mean, this, that, just the, the, the amount of detail that they put in um, into, into the, the construction of this thing, you know. It looks like a house. You've got the, the paneling on the bottom. You've got the molding on the side there. You know, I, I challenge you to find a lot of motorhomes at this price point with those same kind of features and details. Yeah, it's the fit and finish. I guarantee you, you can, and you'll see later on in more videos. But you'll go. We're going to go all the way up to the Legro bus. You're, the same people that build their Zephyr, the top of the line motorhome, are the same ones that build this coach. The same integrity goes into building this as it does their over a half a million dollar Zephyr. So you're not getting cheated on anything. Uh, you step up into the main bathroom. You've got an electric toilet. The only thing you got to watch out for here is occasionally this thing's got a pretty good suction. If you're not careful, the next thing you'll hear is, Hey, honey, somebody come get me out of here. Because <laughs> it'll suck you right down to the tank. So you just got to be careful. But you got the washer dryer, Splendid. And then you got the nice big shower with that you can set down handheld. Pull out drawer up here in the front. I had so much storage in that bathroom, too. That's crazy. There's more storage in this than there is in my house. Yeah, bathroom. It's, it's so much storage in a bathroom. And that makes it nice, too, because if your breakers or something trips are right here, you're not having, you're to, not having down, to raise the bed up. Get on your hands and knees, crawl exactly. around the motor room, looking you, for the breakers. Apparently, you've done this before. I have. I have done it okay. a time or two. But yeah, I mean, this is for a, a motor home, if you're wanting something that's comfort, very durable has integrity to stand behind it, this is the right coach. I mean, the red uh, 37BA with a bath and a half, it's great for families. It's great for just two people. Look at the livability of this coach. I mean, and Anthony's already pointed out, the workmanship, the wood, uh, they just don't cheat you. It's just a great coach. And you know, guys, to me, and I've been selling these for over 26 years here at Vaught. I know he looks like he's been doing it for 126. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm practicing up my. Uh, he's going to be. He's going to be our be, Santa Claus I'm this be year. Santa I think. Claus this year. Uh, but one thing that everybody always asks me, race, what's the warranty on these? You know, I want to know what happens the day after my warranty's over with. Guys, the one good thing about Tiffin, it, this coach can be ten years old. You can pick up the phone and call Red Bay, and they will treat you like you just bought it. If you need parts, they'll get you into parts. If you need service, they'll get you into service. They're not going to say, oh, your coach is out of warranty. You need to call a dealer. Once you buy a Tiffin motor home, you're part of the Tiffin family as long as you own it. And that is the one thing that has kept me at Vought RV and selling Tiffin motor homes is the Tiffin. Well, you can't beat it. Tiffin and Vought together, there ain't just, it's just it's, unheard of. It's a great combination. And, and to race this point, there's not a lot of manufacturers out there that will actually do service at the factory. I mean, you know, you cannot call a lot of these other manufacturers and go, hey, I need to bring my coach in. They're going to tell you, call your local dealer. Not that we don't want to service you. We'd love to service you, but sometimes that's not a good option for you. So it's great that, 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 that Tiffin will actually service units that they sell. 
Yeah, but in all fairness to that, Anthony, we don't have the Kundong Cemetery that they can come and see us at, but they can see it up there. <laughs> I mean, but it's just, it's, and Anthony brought, that's exactly right, guys. They're hands-on. They've got a campground there. I'm not telling you they'll get you in that day, but they're super good, super friendly. So are we. When we need uh, service or parts, they're Johnny on the spot, everything. If you're looking for a great motorhome, guys, this is it. It's the Allegro Red 37BA, bath and a half, three air conditioners, 360 engine. It All it needs is a new address. Come see us. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vaught RV.